You've probably noticed the new show on CBS called Code Black. The cast has put together a new public service announcement inspired by the work of a committee right here in Connecticut. Heading that committee was Dr. Len Jacobs, who is joining us this morning. Thank you so much for being here, Doctor. Good morning. Good morning. So first of all, can you tell us about the Heart for Consensus? Yes, it was a group of people that came together through the American College of Surgeons. And it had the, the military, the Department of Defense, Department of Homeland Security, the FBI, police, fire, and hospitals. And the goal of it was to increase survival from active shooter and intentional mass casualty events. It's evolved to stopping bleeding from any cause. So that that's really the mission and that if we can stop the bleeding fast, or if you can as a citizen, you will save lives, and that's it. So saving lives through stopping bleeding. And uh, when you guys really came out of this study, then this uh, PSA went into a effect. Tell us a little bit about this public service announcement. Well, we worked with the uh, CBS mm -hmm. uh, in Los Angeles, the National Defense, and then the White House. And they put together this PSA to educate the public on exactly what we're talking about because we want to really engage the public so everyone becomes a stop bleeding person. Now we do have a clip of that PSA we're going to show you right now in case you haven't seen it yet. You've probably seen these boxes on our set. They're bleeding control kits. And they're part of a new White House initiative. Soon, you'll be seeing them on the walls of public spaces. Airports, shopping malls, even your place of business. Open the box and you will find what you need to stave off a bleeding wound. And give the victim time for help to arrive. These are items that you should also now, have in Now, Doc, your you actually brought one of those kits that they're talking about in that PSA uh, here with you on set. And uh, what do we have in it? Well, in the set itself, it's, it's very simple. And it's really designed to be just like the automatic external defibrillator on the wall outside of your building. Mm -hmm. It's you open it like this. Inside there, there is a, a box filled with these bleeding control kits. Oh my goodness! Yes. And it's just as simple as that. So. What, what's in the kit itself is a tourniquet. So this is the tourniquet that's inside that kit. This is called a hemostatic dressing, which is basically a ten times more effective than a gauze dressing to oh. stop bleeding. Okay. It, it's, every soldier in the U.S. military goes to battle with one of those. Wow. And it's made right here in Connecticut, actually. And you're going to show us how to use the tourniquet as well. Yes, I am. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so it's very simple. It's, it's a Velcro strap. Mm -hmm. And we just put it on. Now, obviously, you're bleeding significantly from here. Down right? here, yes. right? Yes. So that would be if I had a wound a down A major, this way. major wound. You pull it tight like that, and it's Velcro, so it sticks to itself. And this is just a, a winding rod, and it's going to bite you a little bit. Okay? Feels it tight? I do. I feel it. Yeah. Right. And oh, then and you just bring it over. Right in there. And then this comes over here, and you write the time on it. Now, how do you know it works? No more bleeding. And then you feel the pulse, and there should be no pulse. So there's no blood going in, no bleeding coming out. And that's how you know that you're good. Wow. Very, very simple to do. That's incredible. Thank you so much for showing us how to do that. Major strides being made uh, by researchers, as you can tell, right here in Connecticut, now going across the country. Thank you for letting my, my arm go again, <laughs> Doc. And thank you for joining us this morning and for all the work that you're doing spreading this message across the country. You're welcome. Thank you.